in the Clonmel Broadcast Centre, we have TJ O'Brien from Cast Grace in Claheen. TJ is going to sail around Ireland. Hi, TJ. Hello, Seamus. How are you doing? I'm fine. So you you want to raise money for two cancer charities? I do. It's um. I mean, as you know yourself, you've heard all the the stories in your career, but um, life is kind of a chain of events, good and bad. And I had a bad experience myself there, like in 2006, when my uh, partner and wife of 18 years was diagnosed with cancer and died a year later. Oh, Lord, Lord. Um, yeah. I'm now married again with a child, kind of life goes on, but you still can't forget these things. And I wanted to do something for the people to help me during those those dark and scary days, uh, Macmillan oh. Cancer, they were, they were really good and helpful towards me. So you've got yourself a sailboat? I bought a sailboat, I did, yeah. I bought it there last August. I don't know if it's the greatest thing I've ever done, but you, God loves a trier, they say. Um, so have you much experience in sailing it? I was on the Stena link to England a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but um, I mean in sailing that particular boat? No, I haven't sailed this particular boat, but um, I've done all the theory, but now I need to put it into practice. I've I've bought the books, I've watched the videos, I've spoke to people on the internet. I've I've been out a couple of times last year with a friend of mine up in Loch Derg. He's got a, a boat up there. He he showed me the basics. Okay, but 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 I mean, have are you going to have anyone with you? Um, n- no one's brave enough yet to come with me, but um. Through a website I set up, like um, I've been contacting people all the way around the coast and they've been offering help and advice, which is a lot better if you've got local knowledge. So I've got yeah. people in Donegal, they're going to come on and help me get in and out of the port and take me around to the next port. I've got people in Dublin are going to take me down to Wicklow. I've got good. people in Yall. Where are you going Yall. to set out from? I'm heading out from Yall on the 28th of May. Well, yeah. weather permitting and... And all of that. So all are, of you that. Going, are you going westward uh, around the west coast or are you going around the east coast first? I'm going uh, going west, uh, Yall, Cork and then up the west coast. Uh, yeah. There's a, I met a person last year that done it, uh, Darren Robb. He was a big inspiration. God, God loves us. He's not with us anymore and he was, cancer took him as well, but it was his dying yeah. wish to sail around Ireland. Okay. And um, I'm kind of following in his footsteps and... It kind of inspired me to, you know, get up and do this while I can, you know. And how big is this boat? It's it's not the biggest of boats. It's a 24-foot trident. It was built in 1972. But um, back then, they built them a lot stronger with thicker fiber fiberglass and that. And to be honest, I've gone through every nut and bolt in the boat since I bought it. Um, I, I do mechanics, like, so I've rebuilt the engine. I've bought all new rigging. The only thing I'm not 100% sure of is the sails at the moment because I've never actually raised the sails on the boat. That could be pretty tricky. It could. uh, In at the deep end, I say, sure. We'll see. And I mean, there's there's a few people coming down to um, see me off and to help me. I was actually in contact with Yall Sailing Club today and they've offered help to, to launch the boat and to advise me on the first few days yeah. of the journey. I, I, if it comes to it, Seamus, I won't leave on the 28th, but I'll start the adventure on the 28th. Yeah. If well, you know what, what I'm saying. What you'll do is you'll, you'll study the weather forecast. Will you have radio and all that on, on board? Yes. Um, I bought all new VHF radios for it and uh, yeah. Life S and uh, I've got internet on the boat and uh, it'll. I'm, I've got a live hookup to my Facebook and YouTube page because I've got people who kind of subscribe to the to the page and I'll be doing hopefully every evening I'll be doing an update of what I've done that day and it's it's not a if race you, around yeah. I mean if you a, never raised the sail would you be able to make it around with the engine you would I've got two engines now to be honest with you I've got the inboard engine a single cylinder diesel which is you don't use sails to get in and out of port anyway because yeah. you haven't got enough control the sails will be only when I'm be about a, a mile to a half mile off the coast, and if I'm brave enough, I'll put them up. But it's it's trial and error. But I've also got a spare engine outboard that, um, you know, if if it all goes bad, I can use that. No, you used two walking sticks following a road crash that you were involved <laughs> in in two thousand and eight. Yes, um, 
I, it's a bit of an ironic story. I used race bikes in Europe and in America and won a few championships and set a few records and that. And then after my uh, partner died in 2007, I moved back to Ireland. And my sister, um, Laura, she's going to kill me for this, uh, bought a little 125 and me being big brother thought I'd take it out for a spin. As you do, yeah. As you do. Uh, helmet, all the gear on, but unfortunately I ended up in Waterford Hospital that night with two broken legs and six months in traction. And, oh, God. And now I'm, I'm waiting for new knees and things like that, which is another reason I want to do this. I want to prove to myself I can still get out and do stuff. I mean, there's, there's no chance of me doing a marathon or anything like that to raise money or drive a motorbike down to the south of France or anything. Well, you so, know, it is a bit of a marathon. How long do you think it'll take you? I know you said it's not a race, but how, how long would you, judging on past experiences of other yeah. people, how long would you expect it to take you? Well, there was a Frenchman that set the new Round Ireland record there two to three weeks ago. He'd done it in 40 hours, believe it or not. I, I, I won't be doing it that. It'll take me that long to get around in the bar, never mind around Ireland. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, Darren Robb, who done it last year, he done it in in four weeks, and he he stopped in a lot of ports. But I'm planning to stop in a few more, to be honest, because it's it, the subscribers I've got on YouTube, the Sale Cancer page, is really good. There's a lot of Americans and Europeans and Germans. They're all excited about seeing the coastline of Ireland, the wide Atlantic Way, as they call it, and and I want to take videos, and I'm, I'll I'll have a permanent. Um, camera on the mast recording the whole thing so I'm, I'm not in a rush and I want to meet people and I want to spread the word and raise the money and do the best I can for the two charities. Do you get seasick TJ? I have been known to get seasick yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I, I suffered from it very badly when I was younger um, but I mean the more you research something I, I don't think there is any sailor that's been born that hasn't been seasick from what I've read. So it's it's a, it's an honour challenge, and I love a challenge, you know. And well, it's certainly a hell of a challenge. Some people would would think you're foolhardy; others would think you're a very brave man. We will watch your progress with interest, and the best of luck to you, teacher. Thank you very much.